Hi guys, I'm Shmi. We've been going around the factory here at Rolls-Royce today, but behind me is a new Wraith, a 6.6 litre twin turbo V12 coupe. This car though, I'm about to go for a drive in. So I'm gonna hop on round, jump in the driver's seat, and we're gonna go and check it out. You may already know, but Rolls-Royces have a button to close the door the ultimate and cool but now it's time to go for a drive so spin this round start a button of course start up the car let's see how we do here we are then in the wraith first impressions this is so quiet, relaxing. It's just, I can totally see how you would just want to cruise and cruise and cruise. I could drive this car down to Monaco any day of the week. It's amazingly quiet. When you do put your foot down, the surge of power, it just sort of pulls away and you quickly, quickly, quickly up to a speed you didn't realize you were going. On the countryside roads where you can actually use a bit of the power. We're going uphill now, but you just sort of put your foot down, the auto gearbox will drop a few gears and it pulls away. It just pulls so ferociously for such a big heavy car. Yet it's so quiet and comfortable and that quietness almost sort of changes your perspective on how fast you're going. If you didn't have the head-up display right in front of you letting you know you'd quickly end up into dangerous territory but it's actually really quite fun and it's so gentle. It's, it's exactly what they say, you sort of, I mean, my general driving is in sports cars where the sort of aggressiveness makes you, gives you that sensation of speed. But here, it's just relaxing. It's a really enjoyable drive. Inside, you've got just about every comfort you need. The nav system, obviously, fully equipped, every, everything. It's a brilliant reversing camera setup. I can show you, you know, this, this sort of new wood, especially for the Wraith, is absolutely awesome. You can probably tell on this video quite how quiet it is in here. I'm speaking really, really softly and you can, I'm sure you can hear everything. Unsurprisingly for the shape, seeing backwards isn't the easiest thing in the world, but you've got great side visibility. Big mirrors make that easy and it's quite easy to position the front. The spirit, of ex the spirit of ecstasy out front obviously helps make all of that quite easy. Comfortable steering wheel, very comfortable seats. You can do your long journey in here with pleasure. So one of the most famous features of this car is the Starlight Headliner above me. I've talked about it in my other videos. 1,340 individual lights make up that constellation effect. It is actually a little story behind this. Lights are there to represent the stars that were in the sky above Goodwood on the day the first Phantom rolled out of the factory in 2003, the 1st of January, just after midnight. So that's exactly what it looked like back then and it's very, very cool that that little bit of history comes through in the modern cars and the newest car, obviously, the Wraith. Um, not the only touch, obviously, we've got the umbrellas, we've got the, the centre wheel caps that steady themselves, everything you sort of know and love about Rolls Royces. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. I hoped I was going to like this car, and I could see why the car is getting the acclaim that it's getting, because it is so comfortable and such a, a relaxing drive, yet it is still really, really quick. It's hard to remember that. Really quick. Um, I mean, gentlemen's Grand Tourer. Would, you want, would I want to go and do one of my rallies around Europe in this car? You bet I would. You've got the luggage space, you've got the comfort, you could even bring some friends along in the back. So we've popped round to the nearby Goodwood Motor Circuit where I'm actually now going to try jumping in the back and seeing a slightly different angle on it. Um, oh. So uh, I'm going to see what the back of the Wraith is like. Let's see, pull that lever, seat forward, easy button for that. A slightly different perspective from back here. 
So yes, this is where the, uh, the beauty of those automatic doors comes in. Henry here's got a button. There we go. Door closes. It's quite comfortable back here. Nice looking up at the headliner, that's for sure. So obviously we don't have any back doors, so we're not sort of... The car's not built for being a uh, necessarily the same as you would say with a Phantom or, or whatnot, but I've got a lot of a lot of room, a lot of comfort. Yeah, I think um, if I was taking uh, somebody on a, a cross Europe rally or something, I don't think they would be too upset if they were sitting back here. Not claustrophobic, lots of light from the window behind, side windows very, very good, sort of almost straight through disabilities with only the minor, minor break and uh, yeah. Here we are arriving back through the gates to Rolls Royce. So one other very, very nifty feature to talk about is the three-way cameras when you reverse. Put the car into reverse and then the car sort of shows you with various lines and all sorts of positioning methods. You can see here, that as I head back towards the corner behind me, it's all going to sort of, I hope, reveal itself. Yeah, you can see um, I'm sort of all skew with, but it's awesome how you can see, well, exactly how you are in relation to everything around you. Just to sort of quickly show you on the, the way you change gear in a Rolls Royce or change into drive, you actually do it with a stalk rather than with, with a gear stick. So, you know, it's down for drive and back up for a reverse, which is all very cool. So yeah, that's a pretty, uh, pretty clever parking aid. I think it takes a little bit of learning to get used to, but uh, I'm trying to park diagonally in the corner. There we go, that will do. Nice and tidily right in the back. So yeah, sadly it's time to get out. A pretty cool experience driving the Wraith, and I have to say it's every bit it's cracked up to be. That was a very comfortable drive, very relaxing yet it's incredibly powerful and clearly this colour combo is a very popular choice because there's another one right there but a uh, fantastic day here at Rolls Royce seeing the full sort of factory production line of the Wraith everything to do with it and obviously also the Phantoms and, and the monsoon testing and everything else so make sure you check out all of the other videos three-part factory tour from my trip here to Rolls Royce motor cars obviously make sure you subscribe as well for all the latest supercar videos but that's it for now I will catch up with you very soon cheers I'm going to head on inside and go take a look at the factory. The very first thing that happened. Powered by a 6.6 .6 litre twin turbo V12. We're at the start of the production line today. We've already looked at the pre-prep work and the paint.